Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today is day 183 of playing chess every day until 2000 ELO. Let us find an opponent. We're sitting at 1712 and we find a matter. 333, 1735. Playing D4 against me. So D5. And I don't know what this is. I'm assuming he wants to play this and go for like some kind of stonewall attack. Interesting. So if I play here, takes, I guess this check doesn't do anything. Very, very interesting. I don't know, let's put our bishop out. Okay, he just goes knight there. Yeah, I'm very confused. Okay, so we're gonna go here. He's stopping me from, yeah, okay. So it's gonna be like a stone wall kind of setup. So I think we wanna try and get rid of this bishop. And this is a huge hole. This is gonna be a weakness. He wants to trade off this because he's going to have all of these. I don't really want to allow that trade. If I go here, though, am I really doing myself a favor? Mm. I'm going to put the knight in the center of the board. If he wants to take, then at least we have the bishop. And he doesn't. He just castles. Now we're going to strike. We're going to hit d4 right away. He just backs it up. For sure, for sure. And yeah, we're just gonna develop. Just finish development. We need to get the bishop out and then we're gonna castle, basically. A move that I am kind of anticipating is knight here trying to challenge my knight. So we're not gonna bother playing a6 because he would be really happy to get rid of that bishop. So there's no need for me to actually, you know, just give him a reason to move it. Now the question is, I think we need to take so that he doesn't just take and then make me waste a tempo, but we need to also develop this. So I'm thinking we either take and then develop, or we just develop, and if he takes, then we gonna argue that you're not gonna have as strong of a structure. But I mean, it's gonna come down to that anyways. We're gonna take. Yeah, so he takes back. So I'm seeing I could go here, and then I could potentially move this and then sack the bishop for the knight, takes, and then win this, but I don't... I think we're just gonna develop the bishop out and then castle. He'll probably take. Or maybe he won't. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, let's go ahead and castle. I'm assuming he just didn't want me to end up here because it could be strong, especially with the alignments. What am I talking about? This is his good bishop. <laughs> I have zero idea what we're talking about because this bishop is gonna be stuck be behind all of his pawns. So if we get rid of this, then we're actually kind of happy. Yeah, I don't know what I was talking about there. So he takes, gives me the B file. So let's take here. We might even push. I'm assuming he put his knight here to take. But if he takes, I'll just put my bishop there. And that's also just a strong square for it. So we might have the bishop pair. Now we obviously don't want to take his knight because then he just develops. So he's attacking this right away. Is the knight doing anything there? Not quite, I think I can just go here. So if I go here, if he takes, then I take back. If here, here we take, I could go here to just protect, but then also apply more pressure to this. But if I play here and he goes here, then this kind of is fizzled out, takes here, and it's not really possible. So I think we need to play c5 right away. This does fork my two pieces here which is actually not the very nice. Yeah. Okay, so we go here. He's going to take, and then I'll take back. That was a little bit silly on my end. We're going to have immediate pressure on this, though. Takes, takes. Ooh, he trades that off. Okay, now takes? Or is he going to allow me to take? No, he takes. Now, of course, we take back. So this pawn is pinned. We have a very nice structure. I like that. I'd like to keep it that way. Develops, he wants to play rook here, which is pretty fine. I'm just gonna play b8, rook b8, apply pressure here. He might play b4, hitting this, but that's okay. And I might even play f5 myself, just to really lock in that bishop. Could also go here to put pressure. Oh, he immediately just goes there. Okay, fair, fair. So let's just play queen to d6. There's no bishop here skewering, so we should be good. There's bishop there skewering, though. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh. That was a mouse slip. 
That really sucks. Mouse slips suck. Yeah, well now we just lose. Okay, well, let's go ahead and infiltrate. Nah, let's just resign. Whatever. Were we even winning? Or like, were we equal? Okay, buddy played with a 93.8. Um, so all this is, it's pretty, it's just dead equal this whole game. This is a mistake because of this. But Rooksack is fine. I mean, he's up a little bit of material, but yeah, um, that's brutal. And then of course, after that, we just kind of, uh, we just gave him a Rook and it's, it's just lost anyways. We gave him a Queen. Anyways, it happens is what it is. Let us play a second game. So we get the white pieces against Moshe. And it looks like we're gonna play a Vienna Gambit. Main line? No. What? The 1660 accepts the gambit. That is absolutely mind-boggling. Ooh, okay. So I remember studying this. I think I go here, he goes here, I go here. But I haven't even played that yet. What? So he really wants to play this. I think maybe I go here to stop this. Maybe that is the correct response. But I want to play this eventually. So I might just go here. I go here. He's going to push. No? Okay. Well, then, never mind. I don't know what this guy's doing. Yeah, let's just go here. If he pushes, we just go back, and then we're going to take this pawn. Yeah, so he goes there. Perfectly fine. We just go back. Uh, if he pushes, we can just take and take and then take. And if not, we're going to go here. I guess he can hold on to the pawn like this. Maybe we're not actually fine. Here, here. Looks very gross. How am I misplaying this? What? I'm not used to seeing this at all. G5, that just can't be good. Maybe I needed to play this right away. Or yeah, maybe I needed to go H4 right away. Hmm. Oh, he can't. I don't know. I'm a little mind boggled. The mouse slip was kind of brutal. He can't play here because, I mean, it's defended. Here takes. Threatening this. He can go here. I go here. No. Yeah, so he finds the move. Why is this not good? What can I do? Or can I even do anything? I go here? Can I go here? Push takes. Push takes. Here, here is the problem. Do I go bishop here to attack this? Does he have a way of defending it? Can't really come in. I think bishop here is a good move. So we're just gonna attack this pawn once more. He can push, but then we should be able to go here and attack this. Okay. <laughs> My opponent plays f5. His king is completely in the center of the board with like no help. So if I go here, he's gonna take back with the knight. Okay, well, let's take en passant. So we're not threatening this anymore. How did I get myself into this position is what I want to know. So if I go here, he's gonna go here. I play this. Or do I just sacrifice the bishop for these two pawns? Get the knight out. I, I, yeah, I think I just sack the bishop, he takes, I go here. Actually, he can't even do anything. He can't push because then I take the bishop here. If he goes here, we take, he takes, then we take the bishop. Here, here, does he have queen here? That might be a move. Maybe if he goes here, I need to play this first. So that if he takes, then I can take back here. So it's surprisingly tactical. What if he takes? Why did I not calculate that? I mean, it looks kind of ugly, but... He's just got a pawn that is two squares away from promotion. Takes here, 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 and he's got this. And the rook's trapped now, because I take. He might be calculating something like just queen here to pin this and then try for that, but if he plays something like that, I'll just take. Okay, so that's an interesting move. He's attacking this, so takes takes this is now defended but he would be able to take not really because then there's that i think this is just the move if check why did i not calculate this uh i don't hmm do i not just take here and then takes oh i can't even come here we have to move the rook <laughs> this is so bad oh he takes there first logical move but i think we can go here and king has to move now which looks 
very dangerous because this is blocked. This will be blocked. So you'll have to go here and then check. E. I guess he could go here, which is probably where he has to go. But, oh no, then we take with check. Yeah, so king there. We go here. Uh, if he goes here, then we obviously just take. Here, he can't go anywhere on these squares. So if he goes here, then we have this check. And then all these are covered, so he'll be forced to the back rank. Then we can take this. So let's go ahead and give this check. There's also this check. So he goes there. We'll go check. I guess he could go here, but then we can just have discovered checks. Is that a move? What about this? Wait a minute. Check. Can't go here. And he can't go anywhere on these squares. So check. He can't go here, 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 or here. So that's just checkmate with a pawn, right? <laughs> oh wow let's take a look at that that was actually like a ridiculous game so he takes and this is already you know so knight here why is this not the best move it, what this is not the move no no queen this is the move <laughs> what Okay, I knew this was not right, and I guess d4 is the correct move. He goes there, which is best. Now we strike. The best move is actually to take en passant. We strike, then he has this, which is fine. We just go back. So I guess I did study correctly. This is wrong, but we play a mistake. So what did I have to play afterwards? Oh, okay, so we need to go there with the knight, not the bishop, to attack this immediately, because we're not gonna win this. Or did he have, did he just have another move? Knight there. Can't we just take? Oh, then this is undefended, I guess. Okay. But he misses that. Then we take, which is an, another miss. So we just needed to move the bishop once again. Attack this, which we can't even take, but uh, apparently there, there. This is how the line's supposed to go. <laughs> Didn't happen that way. That's a mistake. We take. He goes there. And this is a mistake. And I kind of realized that he can just not... Wait, what? What's he supposed to do? He just takes. And this is trapped? Or why is it plus three? I take. Moves the king. Okay. Why, why am I giving that up? What? No, 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 no. I want to look at this line. Stop. So here, wants this. Now what's the most logical move? This is attacked, so... What if we just play here? Then he plays knight c6. I'm supposed to play queen here. Yeah. Okay, well... He blunders because we have this check. Due to all those pawn moves... And then we just get in. And that just blunders maiden one. <laughs> what I was seeing was that uh, if he goes to the back rank, we just take. And he's like, he's forced here. We could probably just trade queens, but I don't think I'd trade queens here. Apparently this is the move. If takes, oh, because then the queen's undefended. Yeah, that makes sense. Maybe I would have saw that in the game. Can even just go back. But yeah, I definitely don't want to trade queens. Especially like... Let's see how much the advantage we lose. It's still plus five, but yeah. A performance ELO of 1600 versus his 1100. And I had a 73.9% accuracy versus his 51 or 56.1. And then the first game, we both, it was not even a game. Today has been a weird day, I guess. So if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, commenting, subscribing, all that great stuff. I will see you tomorrow.